So now I'm gonna go over how to open up a Jamboard um, session while you're in Google Meets here um, and how to make sure it's shared appropriately with everyone uh, who needs access to it. So as you can see, I'm already in a call here and what you wanna do is you wanna go down to the bottom right and tap on the three dots and you'll see whiteboard. See, it says open up a jam. So you'll go ahead and click on that and you'll click start a new whiteboard or you can choose um, from Drive. If you already have one from a previous session or something that you've saved, you can go ahead and open at that one, but we're gonna start a new one. As you can see, it creates it right here. Give it a second to open and you have all kind of your basic things. You can change the background to a grid or different colors. Um, you can change the color of your pen and the size and what type it is, if it's like a paintbrush or a pen or something like that. You get a bunch of other options down here too. Um, up here, you can go ahead and click the right button to add more kind of slides if you need to. And then if you click on the slides, you can see um, all the different ones you have and you can click on the three dots on one of them and duplicate it or delete it. So your pretty basic functionality. But once you open up Jamboard, you're gonna wanna head and go ahead and make sure everyone can access it. So if I go to my other viewer here, I can go into the chat and I can see a link has been shared and I can click on the link. So if I'm someone else in the chat and they might get this um, message that they need access. So if you have people getting this message um, in your Google Meets um, conference, go ahead and open up Jamboard here that you already have or your whiteboard here is what they call it now and click share. From here you have a couple of things you can do. So if you want everyone to just be able to click on that link in the chat that was automatically sent out when you created this whiteboard, um, you can go ahead and click change to anyone with the link. Click on it and what that will do is now anyone with that link, so anyone who clicks on the link in that chat will be able to open it and they'll be able to view the whiteboard but they won't be able to make any changes or edit it. If you want everyone with the link to be able to edit, it, you can click on viewer and change to edit and that will update it and then you can always change it back if you need to. Now what if you only want like one other person um, in your uh, Google Meets meeting to be able to edit it but you want everybody else to still be able to view it? Well still go down here and say okay anyone with the link make sure they can view it and then up here where it says no one has been added yet, share with people in groups. You can click on that and you can go ahead and type in their email. And it should pop up there and you can go ahead and click it and you can send them a message with it if you want. And over here, make sure it says editor. You can also click it and change it to a viewer if you want to. We're gonna go ahead and click send. So there we go, if we go back to our sharing here, you can see that two people can edit it here that we've have added individually, and then anyone on the internet with this link can view it. Um, so anyone in that Google Meets um, should now be able to go ahead and just click on the link here. And now you see it pops up under that other account and we can go ahead and view it. Um, we also added this person as an editor so they can also go and edit it um, if they need to. So that's how you go ahead and get whiteboard or Jamboard, whatever you wanna call it, um, up and running and shared with everyone in a Google Meet session. Hopefully that helps. And if you like that video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up down below and subscribe to the channel to get more information about Google Meets and other services like this.